Today is December 29th. Today's quote is entitled, Control or Be Controlled. Either you control your mind or your mind will control you. And you decide which way it will happen. So again, today is another quote similar to yesterday's about deciding. Now, sometimes we say, my mind, it's difficult to control. Oh, Prabhu, my mind, you don't realize, you don't realize how bad my mind is. If you had a mind like mine, you probably would have killed yourself long ago. And you had a mind like mine, you probably wouldn't be a devotee today, etc., etc. So sometimes we get in this space where we feel that our minds are just like driving us crazy. We can't control them. We've all been there. And so the message today is you don't have to feel that way. Either you're going to control your mind or your mind's going to control you. So how can we say that you don't have to feel that way when so many times we say, I just can't control my mind. My mind has got the best of me. Rather, I would say, I am not controlling my mind. When you say, I can't control my mind, say, I am not controlling my mind, or say, I don't want to control my mind. But don't say, I can't control my mind, because look at the nature of the body. Krishna created us higher than the mind. So philosophically, you can't say, I can't control my mind. Because you always have that choice, because you're higher than the mind, right? So from a philosophical sense, we can't establish that I can't control my mind. You might say, well, I'm so much in the mode of ignorance, I can't control my mind. So in the moment, it may be true. At that moment, the mode of ignorance is dominating you, but you've allowed that mode of ignorance to dominate you. You allowed it, so you can stop allowing it. So you always have more control than the influence of the modes of nature on you, than the influence of the mind, because you are not the mind. You're above matter. You're above the mind. So how can we say, my mind is out of control, I can't control it? The mind is just matter, and we're spirit, and we're above it. So why can't we control it? Because we don't try, we don't want to, we don't believe we can, we've given in to the conditioning, it's too powerful, it's too much of a fight. We've identified with the mind, we think that's me, and somehow or other, we're thinking we can't control it, which is not true. It's a lie. You can control it. You must control it. You should control it. That's the philosophy. That's the idea. So, the whole point of this quote is just to help you realize when you say, I, my mind this, my mind that, I can't control it, is not true. It's that you're not trying hard enough. It, just always remember, Krishna has given you the power to make decisions. Krishna has given you enough freedom, enough independence, enough, enough of a little bit of control that you can always make a decision to do the right thing. It's always a choice. What is right and wrong? Non-devotees don't know, but we know. We know what's right and wrong. So now that we know what's right and wrong, it means we have a choice. Krishna has told us, this is right, this is wrong. Why would he tell us this is right and this is wrong if we have no choice? Just to frustrate us? Well, this is right, but you could never do that. Ha, ha, ha. Suffer. No. This is right, and I give you the power of choice so you can do this. This is wrong. I give you the power to control yourself. We have that power. We have that will. Now, you might say, but I can't do it on my own. But you have the power to make choices, to put yourself in situations where you'll be able to do it, to get help to do it, to get the Sangha to do it. There's always something you can do. So don't ever feel there's nothing I can do in my mind. It's just overwhelming. I can't control it. No, go sit next to somebody who can control their mind. Do something. You can do something. Don't give in to it. That, that is not our philosophy. It's not what Krishna's teaching. And it's not the way Prabhupada wants us to think.